Well, next year is the or next month rather is the one year anniversary of the Christmas blizzard. One week ago today, two on your side reported on a Buffalo family still displaced. The Morrill family's home was severely damaged. A contractor they hired never finished the job. Tonight, I'm asking why. A massive tree fell through the Morrill family's home during the Christmas blizzard. Snow started filling the house. The family was forced to live in a hotel, temporary housing, and then back to a hotel. Work started on their Kermit Avenue home in the spring. There was a signed contract with No Limits Construction owned by Jeremiah Oliver for $171,200. I gave him a $30,000 down deposit. That's what he required. He said guaranteed it would take 90 days for me to be in my house. I asked the contractor to explain he would not go on camera, but told me on the phone, quote, I told her 90 days from when I got the architect's plan. Nanny pushed it out October 1st. You will be in your house by October 1st. And I started noticing there's no permits. So where's the permit? Come to find out you gutted the house. You never had a permit. Eventually there was a permit. But the work done by No Limits Construction was demolition only. I asked the contractor why he didn't finish the job. He said they didn't give me more money. The Better Business Bureau recommends this when it comes to paying a contractor. Doing a payment at the beginning, middle and end of a job or beginning and end of a job. The insurance company allocated $80,000 with the potential for more. To date, the money has been used for materials and another contractor to rebuild the interior wall studs and beams. But there is more to be done with electrical and plumbing since it was gutted by the first contractor. Two on your side also asked the Better Business Bureau about the contractor. They have, I believe, a one star review with us and one um, published complaint. They are not an accredited business. It's something the BBB sees too often when people are in a pinch to get work done after a storm. This is definitely a timely topic, especially as, you know, winter is coming here in western New York. Um, you know, just a really good reminder to people to be on the lookout for someone who may take advantage of you and just be really careful when you, um, you know, are looking to hire a contractor for your next project. Lesson learned and one the Morrill family hopes to never relive. I'd be damned if I allow anybody else to ever be taken advantage of by another contractor. And since our story, a couple of businesses have offered to donate items. Now they need a reputable contractor to finish the job. And the warning for everyone is to always check with the BBB before hiring an individual or a company, especially with a big job. We want to